Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing? Welcome to episode 5 of our Let's Play series on Adeptus Mechanicus, the Heretic DLC. Uh, we're going to crack straight into it. No mucking about. We've got some Blackstone. We've got some missions on offer. Let's go see what we can upgrade on our guys. Let's see if we can kick some butt today. So, I think, yeah, so this one's rank 4, this one's rank 5. I think last episode we could only upgrade one, didn't we? We didn't have enough blackstone for two. So, let's give this guy a little upgrade. Uh, what's the other guy got? So we've got no one with the cleanse. I think I'm going to give him the cleanse. Cleanse target of any negative effects. It should be things like acid. You get jad by the kind of tech scarabs. So that's unlocked a little augment slot. And we've got some new new upgrades here to play with. So Sanctus Canister. It's not bad. Extra stabby attack, already got the healing. Extract the cog point. Here untargetable. I think I'm going to go for the Sanctus Canister, giving us a bit of extra damage and movement and crit chance. Nice. Alright, next upgrade 180, so we can actually upgrade one more. He's got two bits of armor, he's only got one bit of armor. So let's upgrade to him again, give him another bit of armor. What's oh, he great? He's got a chest. HP2 movement, physical and energy armor. I think we'll take that one. A couple of extra HP, a little bit of extra movement. This makes him able to be a bit more versatile. So he's at 6, he's at 5, 180, 127. Yeah, cool. That's all the upgrading we can do. So let's see what missions we've got. So we've got a normal one. We can get a new gun. Phosphor Serpenta. Noise Reductor. 98 Blackstone. Volkite Blaster. They're pretty good. In fact, Field Generator. They're pretty handy. 98 Blackstone. Ah, here we go. Vanguard and a Tech Priest. So that's as easy as to a normal. So I would have done this one even if it was normal. So we can get a Skitaro Vanguard and an extra Tech Priest out of this, so this is definitely going to be the mission we're going for. So, we're going to get one of our Rust Stalkers in as well, I think. So, if you see when you put the Servitors in, they don't cost anything to, to stick in. Uh, so you can just swamp all the rest of your free slots for Servitors, but all the extra Yinas that you'll unlock, they do cost a little bit of Blackstone to deploy. So you've got to make sure you do have a bit, obviously we've got plenty. Um, so we're all fine. Now, I think we unlocked some more canticles at the end of the last one, so let's just see if we can place this one with a better one. Yeah, sounds going to give us nine on our physical attack. I think the last one we were on six. So that's next to attacks, we'll ignore all armor, store five HP. That's going to be handy to keep at the moment. Extra movement, machine spirit. Oh, some extra cog points. Out of a physical attack, and again, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. They do like to talk this lot, don't they? Blimey. Mm -hmm. 
Right, consolidation. So, what have we got? One diamond, just the one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, six. Okay, so we're gonna go this way so we can go past the cliff room. Explosive challenge is put in place, but minuscule Necron scarab constructs emerge from apertures in the walls, evidently intent on devouring the explosives before they can go off. Explosive haste. Hurry the setting of the explosives so they are ready before the scarabs can do any damage. Cork the vents. Block the apertures to prevent any more scarabs emerging. Or bug extermination. Destroy the scarabs before setting the explosives. Um, yeah, let's not use haste. Haste can... Haste can be the mother of muck-ups. Let's go for extermination. There we go. Got some black stone. Niches increased a bit, but that's okay. Let's see what we've got in the glyph room. Green one. Good stuff. So we're going here. Katara units holding the Tomb of Acropsis are suffering communications glitches, and one unit has run a cable to the command post to stay in touch. This cable runs across the chamber ahead, and it is obvious it has become severed, potentially cutting the unit off from the rest of the Skatari force. Do we implement a quick fix? Fix the cable as best as we can. Do we go the extra mile? Fix the cable and check the surrounding area of the tomb to find Skatari unit and see how it's faring? Where's the Skatari thing? Ignore the cable. This is the Skatari unit's problem, not yours. No, we are. We all as one. We're going to fix the cable and go over the extra mile, try and find a dude. Oh no. The cohort repairs the cable and spends the next while searching for the Skatari unit. They find the Skatari lying dead at their post. Victims of a Necron ambush, their bodies sheared open by Gauss fire. Knowing their efforts were in vain pushes the cohort dangerously close to despair. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's the thanks we get for trying to be good. Could be worth checking this out. The damage here might give us some information on how best to bring down the target area of the tomb. The chamber ahead is partially collapsed with a dangerously sagging ceiling and appears highly dangerous. Avoid the hands of fate. Find a way around the chamber. It's too dangerous to risk the cohort. Observations protocols. Carefully examine the damaged chamber to learn about the tomb's structural weaknesses. Blow off some steam. Try to bring down the whole chamber to test the placement of the cohort's demolition charges. Um, let's go for observe, I think. Oh, we got some CP. Lost a bit of health on our Rust Orca. I think it's Rust Orca. Rust Orca, yeah. Freaky. Should go turn around all that. Let's break my back up. Survive four rounds. I'm 
sure we can do that. Right, we've only got two cog points. Do we get one in for cannon fodder, maybe? Let's get one in for cannon fodder. Move these two behind him. Hoping that this guy doesn't move to shoot one of the other ones. Oh, that's a death, that's a death mark. They're not too tough. We should be alright. I thought it was a warrior. There you go, that works. Getting all the acid attacks. But luckily, luckily, one of them can um, get rid of the acid. We upgraded him just before we come out, I think. We got the cleanse target of negative status effects, Jobby. Um, oh. If I move out, boy, I'm going to get him, shoot me, and them. So I'm just going to have to bail out here, I think. Just leave him there. Let the other priest deal with it. Um, yeah, let's heal up now. Oh, I think he's going to get the acid now at the end of the turn. Yeah. Oh, well, it's alright. Still in a better situation than he was. Okay, so he's also on Overwatch. Let's see if we can get him to bugger off and move somewhere else. Still very much in Overwatch. Oh well, let's um... Oh, before I forget, cleanse target of negative status effects. There we go. Get rid of the acid burn on him. Right, we're just gonna... Get straight in this guy's face, take the hit. Can use one of these. Get a can to clean. Try and guarantee that we chop this guy into oblivion. Here we go. Oh, right. heal up first. Oh, I can't quite move him into there. That would have been nice. Let's. Get an extra CP and just do that. Because if no more enemy units turn up, once our scarabs get killed, that could be the end of this round. Oh no, here we go. That was too good to be true, wasn't it? Now this poor guy's going to face a brunt of two of them. Oh dear. Oh, three. Three damage, that's fine. We can, we can tank that. Kill them all. Oh, bomb fudgery. Um, gonna have to take the hit again, I think. Here, so I can't keep them there in line of fire of both of these guys. Um, yeah, just keep them there. At least he's going to get an opportunity attack on that one when it tries to move. No. Not doing too good for the CP. So let's use our reducer thing. Get a free shot of the axe to get rid of that one. I think we're going to come up and... Oh, no, we'll shoot that scarab, get that scarab out of the way. Oh, I'm not going to... Oh. I moved into melee range, didn't I? What's up, Muppet? Waste of a CP there. Oh, well, it's gone there. So I'd, I'd love to get him up next to that one, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk taking another hit, I don't think. 
Not just yet. Dear. Holy moly. Nah, not yet. I need, I need all the CP I can get to heal up and kill these guys. Because this priest is nearly dead. Canticle, canticle, heal. Double heal. Whew. Feel a little bit calmer now. Free to go. Let's get a CP point. In fact, let's get one further away. Now, I'd love to be going back to this terminal here to try and smash that up to um, reduce our awakenings. We're already on three, but we just don't have that liberty right now. I don't know what to do with this guy. I want to move him back a bit, I think, till he can get a little bit more healing on the go. Well, we've got these reanimate a lot faster now, I think. It's, it's, it's two turns, but. It's not going to be long and it'll be one turn, so we're just going to get rid of him. Kind of hoping that this dude's still going to be outside the range of these guys. Right, so we've got two CP here. I think we're going to use one on the Sanctus canister to give us a bit of extra damage. Use a servo scale to get one back. Let's not heal him just yet. Doesn't quite need it. Three, do four. You're gonna do the same. What? No. Ooh. Crap sticks, man. Got two guys to try and take this lot on. Typically, you survive for three rounds and it still wants more from you. Oh well, we're gonna use our one remaining CP to get a bit of fodder out there at least. Oh, that's good. That's really good that he went down. Brilliant. Alright, let's get him up there to try and distract them a bit. attack because I'm going to lose my CP and I've got no CP reducer but if I get him up there then at least it's going to provoke an opportunity attack and get some kind of free hitting or did we get no we didn't get the CP count to go on get him out of there If 
I've only got one left again. Got no reducer. Mm. Just gonna have to do the same. Just get him in there, hold him up for an opportunity attack. Hopefully that one will go down when he moves because he's gonna get a swap from both of us. And we've got ourselves a bit further away from these two as well, so we can try and keep working on these ones without getting caught in a crossfire. Let's start moving him into a cannon for the position. Not too close though. Just get got much um much reduced movement range these guys Let's heal him. Hopefully with a bit of machine spirit. Oh, didn't kill him, but he can't be far off, surely. Let's see what the score is here. It's going to take a little bit more to kill. Going to use our CP reducer. Try and save the precious one we have. So he was on seven, wasn't he? So he's now on three. Brilliant. So he should hopefully go on the next opportunity attack. Guys in the fight. Call down two still. I'm pretty sure one of them still got acid on him. Oh, well, that's both these two finished off now. So I've only got two more to work with. Um, I'm quite tempted to bring this guy in actually, get the Rust Orker in. I don't want to move this guy into full fodder position. But I do want to try and... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so let's just get him in there. So I think once I move my tech priests in, they're probably going to be within range of these two. Let's just stay in the blue. Play it sort of safe. You can't not out of range. Alright, let's just sit there. This guy doesn't have too much health, so I wanna keep him a little tucked out of the way. Let's lose the axe. I know it's gonna cost a point. But he'll get it charged up from machine spirit. Which can help us in our next attack against these guys. Yeah, let's Yeah, let's use that. Oh, use that in a cell. Oh, I thought you could select what unit it goes on. Oh, well, still pretty good. Still pretty good. 
Zap Perka gave him, but it lasts until his next attack, so it's not um not on a turn basis. Some of the perks on, on your guys will only last for a turn, some of them will last until your next attack. Cool, free health. Getting a bit desperate here. Gonna fight him head on, so let's just get in there. She's got energy shields, so physical attack's gonna go good. Let's go there, then we can reduce the cost of the axe so we can actually get it for free. And then let's use our last canticle here. Deal as much physical damage in this shot as we can. There we go, it's gonna wipe him out. Brilliant. How about three against one? I much prefer those odds. He still can't reach though. That's a bit of a pain. Servo skill. So we just used the last CP on moving. We don't have a reducer ready, so it's going to cost us one. We've still got servo skill, so we can get CP back. Give this guy a big almighty wallop. I didn't kill him, but he's going to have to move to attack us, so we're going to provoke the opportunity to attack. So it should nobble him. Just like that. Brilliant. Slightly gutted we didn't get to use the Rust Stalker in an attack, but there we go. I'll live to fight another day. Mission complete. The last demolition charge brings down another section of the tomb. The most heavily used routes around the tomb are now cut off. The Necrons will be forced to fight on Skitari terms from now on. Hoorah! Thus it is written. So losing lots of points for the damage on those guys, but there wasn't really much we could have done about that. We kept on throwing enemies at us. We only had two of them. But I'm pretty sure I remember we're going to get another tech priest from this, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Let his lights going off, flash in his eye. Right. Yep, selling this over. Right, we're on 12% now. So Tomb Awakening is going up. Got another canticle. Oh, I restored 10 HP. Lovely jubbly. Next attack will break two physical armor. Yeah. Next four attacks will ignore all armor. That's pretty cool. Gain six cog points. Thank you. Cool. Well, that's brilliant, wasn't it? So we've got an extra. Let's have a little look. So we've got a Vanguard unit over here, Skatari Vanguard, which is awesome. We've unlocked another tech priest. Majors Leonardus here. So, next episode, we'll start upgrading our new tech priest. We got 434 Blackstone there, so we should be able to get two, maybe three upgrades on him. So, we could get him almost up to where these guys are at. What are these at? Six, five, and six. Five and six. Yeah, five and six. So yeah, he probably won't get up to level 5 or 6 actually thinking about it. We should get up to 3. We should be able to get 3 upgrades on him. Uh, and it looks like we've got more missions available now. Um, we did only have access to the first three, 
free missions here. Well, free mission, free people who give us missions. We'll just unlock three more here. So we'll have a look at them in the next episode as well. Um, maybe these might start taking us a little bit longer to start getting through. So I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. I hope you maybe learned something. If not, I hope you will next time. Um, if you liked it, give us a like or a subscribe. Give us a comment. Failing that, see you next time. Take care, everyone. Hope you have a good rest of your day.